YouTube fam! Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back! So today we'll be playing Never Have I Ever. And Sandra, our beautiful dear Sandra here, is going to be asking us the All questions. The questions. And we'll be answering these as truthfully as possible. Can we a word truthfully? Yes. As truthful. truthful. As truthful as truthful. As truthfully. As truthfully. as truthfully as possible. Let's get straight into it. First question. Never have I ever said an I love you without feeling it. <laughs> Never have I ever been kicked out of a bar. I don't okay. Know you know. <laughs> I love this story. One, tell, tell us. Love this is so it. stupid. Okay. So basically, I was at a bar and a fight broke out, and one of the girls that were involved in the fight threw a glass at someone, and the bouncer thought it was me because I was standing close by, and he thought I threw the drink, and he actually kicked me out of the bar, assuming I was the person that threw the drink, and yes. I didn't. I was completely innocent. That yes, night. I remember that. Never have I ever travelled by plane alone. Let's hear this story Nicole has to tell us about oh, the Hawaiian stop. trip. Oh, oh, so this that was stop over. <laughs> oh, this was the first time I ever travelled overseas, like internationally alone. <laughs> and I was meeting my friends and my sisters in Vegas. And to get to LAX, I had to stop off in Honolulu Airport in Hawaii. And when I got to Honolulu Airport, my layover was only meant to be two hours. Mind you, I was freaking out because she was so young. And I was like, I had really <laughs> step by step what she needed to do from like, you know, which terminal to go to, etc. So I wanted to make sure she wouldn't get lost because... She was so young. So. so I landed in Honolulu Airport and rather than my layover being two hours, my flight was delayed by eight hours. And mind you, she didn't even get in contact with any of us. So the person that was meeting her in LA to pick her up from the airport had no idea. And I had to call Honolulu Airport. You called airport. the airport and I just heard ding ding. Can Miss Nicole Khalil please report oh my to God. Her. And I'm like... Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, so luckily I did call because we would have never known. Never have I ever stuck gum under a desk. Oh come on, I'm pretty sure everyone oh. has. So. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, pretty sure everyone has. Never have I ever refused a kiss. Refused a kiss? Yes. What, have you not refused a kiss, Lydia? Yeah, like with my husband, if he's trying to let yeah, me like if he... and I've just put on some fresh lip, lip gloss and I'm like, Oh, ah. if I've like argued with like someone mm. and like go to kiss me, I'd be like, don't touch me. Mm, I'm playing hard to get, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never have I ever made money by performing on the street. <laughs> yes, I have. Yes. Nicole, what? we tried to when we were younger. <laughs> I was like maybe eight or nine years old and mm. I was busking outside my old house. <laughs> I was busking. I put a hat outside. I can't and it. I was Can you this video? Okay, okay before the video proceeds, I need you to busk for us. <laughs> I literally. I want to see how I you. I don't know where I even got the idea of busking, but I used to stand outside and sing all the time. And I think someone was joking around once, and they were like, "Is there a hat out there so we can put money in?" And I was like, Ding, "That's a good idea." Oh, so I went inside, and I got like my schoolhouse or something, and put it outside. And people that were oh walking past, because I lived on a pretty busy street, jokes up like three or four people walked past and put couple of coin in there. I'm pretty sure in the tape mum walked out and put money in Yes, and I'm pretty sure my mum came out mid my food <laughs> yeah. and put some felt bad. That is them. so funny. Hooked it up. Okay. Never have I ever been on TV or the radio. I have. Same. Yes. When I was younger, <laughs> I was super excited 
I was super excited about calling up a particular radio show because you used to be able to call them up and request songs for people. Oh, so I was really so excited. So and I used to sit and ring a hundred times. Love song dedication. No, mine wasn't oh. love song dedication, but I used to just call Oh, in Nicole. And who are you and doing dedications said, to? Yeah, like they'd answer and be like, hey, do you want to dedicate this song to you? And I was like, my friends. And like name them <laughs> and like pick random songs. But... I've also been on TV. You've been on TV with me, actually. So the one and only time I've ever been on TV was back in 2006. We went and visited where our parents are from, Lebanon. And the holiday was going great until a war broke out two weeks in. So we actually had to yes. leave the country. Yes. And when we were leaving, there were Australian news reporters like interviewing some Australian citizens that were there. And I obviously was very excited to be on TV, so I was in the background, like... It was a very devastating time, and meanwhile, I was super excited, like... <laughs> so, yeah, no, it's not funny. It was very sad and scary, but that was I've been on TV as well a few other times. I was also on TV because I was witness to a home that caught on fire once, so... News reporters were interviewing me. I was, like, 12 years old. I've been on TV a few times. There's also another and, time I could see you in the And she time. was on The Voice. So she tried that out, but you didn't want to. I didn't pursue that. I think because um, she was really young. Yeah, I was a bit too young, yeah. and yeah. Never have I ever snuck into a movie? I have. With you. <laughs> we <laughs> have. This is the only time we snuck into a movie. So we watched I the scream. I think. We watched, I don't know, a movie, and then our movie finished, and as we were walking out, we saw... What's the movie with Paul Walker? Fast and the Furious? Yes, we snuck into the Fast and Furious movie. Well, I snuck that into another it. movie, only because our movie was so boring, and we were like, let's go see what else is playing. <laughs> Never have I ever fainted. Nicole is the queen of fainting. I know. If anyone needs a tutorial on how to faint, it's Nicole. Half the time I wonder if they're real faints or if she's <laughs> faking. I faint over anything. Blood tests. Yeah, you blood tests. Faint. Blood tests. Needles, everything. I've never fainted, no. Okay. Never have I ever set my house on fire. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> How do we answer this one? Because it technically wasn't us. Technically, our mum set our house yeah, on so fire. I have not, but I But you saved. saved the house from getting caught on fire completely. Yes, exactly. So, <laughs> so <laughs> my mother forgot to turn the stove off completely. It was still like a tiny bit lit. And we were very, very young at this time. And I actually saved the day because I was upstairs on my own. She was so oh young. My God, I, was like six years old. I was like six years old. And I remember I was watching TV upstairs in my parents' bedroom. And I started walking down the hallway. And then all I saw was black smoke on the first level <laughs> of the house. And I could see flames. And I was like, what's going on in the kitchen? It was very calm, calling and, us. And she I just like, remember saying... Lydia, Lydia, the kitchen's, kitchen's on, on fire. fire. And I'm like, <laughs> did she just say the kitchen's on fire? So I ran upstairs, literally saw the kitchen on fire. I don't so... even know how you went in and saved the day. Yeah, I just I remember, remember running outside, grabbing our cat and waiting outside for the yeah, fire so brigade to come. Of course, <laughs> I saved the day. I tend to be MacGyver in situations like this. It's really odd. Really Never have I ever sacrificed my sleep for someone. That's a given with me. 100%. 100%. Who do you sacrifice your sleep for? Abigail? Abigail? Oh, you, oh, oh my sorry. god. Oh, yeah. Course, and who do you sacrifice yours for? Dietrich, obviously. I have no. no other option. <laughs> okay. And Abigail sometimes. And Abigail yeah. to help out. Never have I ever accidentally sent a message to the wrong person. Oh. No. It was you. Oh, <gasps> uh, tell us the story. I don't know if we can say this. I can't say the story. Oh, it's so. <laughs> it's, it was hard. Right, I'm gonna say the story. I don't care. Okay. This is not my fault. So my friend was talking about someone a and a situation that occurred, <laughs> and I was messaging this person to who find I, out if it really happened. 
but I wasn't meant to message the person that it happened <laughs> to. Oh my god. So I messaged that person and I wrote, oh my god, da 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 and they responded, they're like, what the fuck? And I was like, <laughs> oh my god. This is what I heard, is it true? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Yes, I was, can't breathe. It was so funny. I'm sorry to know you did that too. It was such a slick way to get yeah, out of it. Yeah, yeah, I got out of it so much. Oh, close. did you? Me, because yeah. I told him what to say. But we it was are like, to the rescue. We had to think like something of this. I'm the queen of getting you out of, like, drama. I swear, oh my god, she is. You make it out like I'm always in drama. No, but like, no just in general. Like, yeah, if anything ever goes down, I'm quite the person to call. Never have I ever farted and blamed it on someone else. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know who I did? Who? Ah, oh, I feel so mean thinking about oh. this. Who? <sighs> when I was in elementary school, primary school. <laughs> On Thursdays, we would have library days when we'd go to the library and the librarian would read books. <laughs> okay. oh so the librarian God. was reading a book and it was very silent and I farted very loud. <laughs> and so so did I, who did you blame it on again? Everyone turned around and was like, <gasps> and I was like, oh my God, Joseph! And You're everyone evil. picked on Joseph, but it was actually me. So I'm really <laughs> sorry, Joseph. Well, I mean, okay, girls don't fart generally, but one time Fluffy <laughs> came off the leash. Oh my god, Fluffy! <laughs> Fluffy came off the leash, and I had so many people over my house, <gasps> and I blamed it on my husband, and he legitimately was gonna cry because he was like. <laughs> It wasn't me. I'm like, it was. You don't need to lie. Like, calm down. <laughs> I can't Poor thing. You're mean. So, That's yeah, hilarious. But you know why? Because he's done it so many times. He'll be like, Lydia, what? And I'm like, you're so funny. So I was like, no, I'm going to get him back this time. And wow, did I get him back? She was like, <laughs> no, <laughs> it, it was a silent part, to be honest. And how, and how did anyone oh, so hear it? Oh, you yeah. nasty. <laughs> Never have I ever lied to my parents about where I'm going. I'm pretty <laughs> sure everyone has. Yes, and you I have. When? when? Yes, you have. When? Are you kidding me? When? It's I when. ain't saying. Say it. When? <laughs> what? <laughs> when? <laughs> when? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. Fine. 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 You have. I you have. have. Never have I ever laughed so hard that I need to pee my pants. You, you, you. I. She you. peed her pants in Vegas because she was laughing so hard and it's caught on tape. Yes, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my oh. gosh, that was so funny. Yes, yeah, she, she, she has. I've done it a few times. Oh and a few times, not yeah, just once. Yeah, yeah, because when I laugh, like. Damn, it's going to be hard to get me out of that laugh. And if I'm busting to go to the toilet, I mean, I need to start doing some more Kegel exercises down there. <laughs> I need to start doing pelvic floor exercises more often. But I yeah. only laugh, like, really hard when I see other people so you have two really, Nicole. really, really hard. Some occasions. Like, yes. if I'm... Like really a full-on pee? Like, you actually peed your pants? Oh, no, I've I never peed my really pants. really funny friends. Like, I'm sorry, but... That's what I mean. Like, if 90% friends... of you people were hanging out with my friends and they made you laugh, you'd probably... Yeah, you. like, they're just so funny that they make me laugh. Never have I ever cried watching a movie. I cry in emotional movies all the time. Yeah. And shout out to my friend Nicole Curry. We are cry buddies in every single so emotional movie, YouTube yeah, emotional movie. Yeah. Like, if you need even emotional like friends, little it's videos and stuff, you just cry. Oh, and Abigail agrees. I do cry. Yeah. <laughs> Never have I eaten the whole pizza by myself. Hundred percent, and I've eaten the second one with it. Never have I ever shot a gun. <gasps> and I cried when I did it too. <laughs> yes, we went to a shooting range in Vegas. My husband was really ecstatic about going shooting. Made us go with him and I don't know, it wasn't too bad for me, but she was very emotional about it. 
I was just so scared. It was yeah, just and a like, scary experience. But Not you nice. Still, but then after I started it. like shooting, I had so much fun and I didn't want to leave. That's a bit scary. No, not like that. Like, <laughs> never have I ever tried to cut my own hair. Just did it like <laughs> three days ago. She always cuts her own hair. Always. That's why it's a little bit crooked. So. <laughs> never have I ever re-gifted something that was gifted to me. <laughs> <laughs> and the biggest one, perfume. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's everyone. Yeah. I'm perfume. A couple of um, doubles of perfume, so I've gotten rid of them. It's really bad. Because the last person I did that to was actually Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever played matchmaker. Yeah. My sister is married to my husband's brother, thanks to us. Cute. Never have I ever had a fake ID. Technically wasn't fake because I was using my sister. It's fake. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's not you. It's fake. Okay. <laughs> okay. <You're too. laughs> Never have I el ever swallowed my gum. Oh, all the time. Yeah, I know it's so gross, but I have. I always. I do, do it today it. just before I go into the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you did! <laughs> Never have I ever lied to a friend about how she looked. Yeah, no. I'm very brutally honest with my friends. Like, if I do not like what they're wearing, do I have a lot of you or anything or like any of my friends? Are no, you're yeah. very honest. Maybe sometimes too you're honest. very honest. Okay, good. Like Lydia did my hair today because she didn't like how I did my hair. So never have I ever jigged or flunked a class. Actually, no. Sorry. Do you have? Wait, yeah, I have. Yes! You have. Bring it you. The only time I've ever skipped class is all my maths classes with my best friend. We'd go to the school counsellor and make up problems to talk <laughs> oh about. Oh my god, that's such a funny idea. Yeah. Don't get any ideas, guys. That's so, what yeah. I used to do. I know I used to jig, I'm not going to lie. I used to jig when it would be a really nice sunny day and me and my friends would go down to the beach. Never have I ever thought I was pregnant. I don't know why I was like waiting for the answer. I have and had false alarms a few times. But that was because I was hoping to be pregnant. Yeah. I've tried. Obviously, you guys know my story and Yeah. Yeah. Good. I'm happy with that. <sighs> Never have I ever sent a nude picture out. <laughs> nude? Good girl. I always taught Nicole don't ever. Good girl. Do a nude. <laughs> Alright guys, that wraps up today's Never Have I Ever. We hope we didn't actually scare you away with some of the answers to our questions, i.e. me being a little fart machine. Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> Just <Ew>. kidding! <gasps> watching our yeah have I ever and let, write down okay comment in the <laughs> leave a comment in the comments below what you want to guys leave a comment below what you guys want to see next yes and I've just got tongue tied because I'm busting to go pace so <laughs> anyways we hope you enjoyed the vlog yes and special thanks to Sandra getting the video Sandra Ta -da! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.